Okay, for some reason I have to wait um, because it kind of cuts off the beginning. But anyway, I want, you know, tempers to, you know, flare and all that. I'm sure all that has already happened. But I decided to go ahead, and, and I know it's late, but I decided to go ahead and give my uh, reaction to the um, Diddy video with Cassie. Okay. Um, and I am, you know, I'm going to give a fair... Because I always give fair commentary, you know. That's why I waited, and really I don't think it's ever going to go away because that's all that I see on, you know, another space. But anyway, I'm going to say what I have to say on this space right here. Uh, I have it up now, <clears throat> and I'm going um, to be going over it uh, at least two or three different ways. My, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm not going to play any audio. Uh, I'm only going to go by what I see. I'm going to play it at regular speed. Uh, there's a hotel uh, hallway there. Okay. Well, maybe I did slow it down. I wasn't planning on slowing it down, but anyway, he's running down the hallway. Okay, and then he takes a right. I'm assuming that's a right, right or left. He went around the corner. There's Cassie. She's leaning over. Let me pause. She's leaning over. I'm assuming maybe something with her bags or, or whatever. I'm assuming that's Cassie because as it stands right now, there's no way for me to tell who that is. There's a hoodie. Uh, I mean, it's impossible to say who that is right there. So, but if it's Cassie, she's bending over, uh, she's, uh, I guess, messing with the bags or whatever they are. There, and then there's Diddy. He stops. He's standing there for a second. I have it in slow motion, so it may only be a millisecond in, in reality. There he is. Now, they claim that, <clears throat> they claim that he punched her. Uh, that's a lie. That's a lie. I've seen the clickbait, you know? A superstar, well, want to be superstar, want to be seen so bad, well, they create a thumbnail and, and, and it ain't nothing but a straight out lie. He did not punch her. Okay, I'm looking right at it in slow motion. Okay, he grabbed her by the back of that hoodie. That's what I saw. There is no punch. There's an open hand. He grabs the back, the back of the hoodie. It's what he did. That's what, that's what happened. I'm looking right at it. Still frame. Somebody else going to take that and say he punched her. Well, yeah, that, that's what they do. And I guess people sit around and think they're so wonderful for doing it. It's a shame. That's more of a shame than what I see. Now, let's continue. And he snatches her back. Now, let me tell you what happens. He has the hoodie. He's, he grabbed the hoodie. He didn't grab her. He grabbed the hoodie she was wearing. I'm looking right at it. He grabs the hoodie. He pulls the hoodie back. By pulling the hoodie back, it pulls her back. She's grabbing up toward her face. At that point, he pulls the hoodie back up off of her face. She's grabbing as if she's grabbing for the hoodie. He pulls the hoodie back. She falls back with the hoodie. He didn't lay a hand on her. And he just kind of slung her over after she had already, after she was already down. He just slung the hoodie like over and she kind of like went with it. And so she's laying there. And then there he is. And then I guess he decides that he wants to take you know, a step, 
And he's in motion right now. And his foot hits the back of the hoodie, the bottom part of the hoodie. It doesn't even hit her. It hits the hoodie. I'm looking right at it. Now, they say he apologized. Did I hear it? No, I don't have to. I know what an apology means. I don't have to watch it. I know what an apology means. It's different ways to say it. Some people mean it. Some people don't. Uh, did he? I don't know. Would I have done it? Yeah. Would I have, have meant it? Well, I guess y'all would never know, would you? In the bigger scheme of things. But anyway, here it is. And then... He doesn't even hit her. Something moves. I want to be fair about this. Something moves. I want to see if it's part of her body. And if it did, and, and you know what? And then if, it, if his foot did hit her, it, it scraped her. Because his foot never stops its motion. So I want to watch this. Okay. What moved was her leg. But his, his, his foot kept in motion. It didn't stop. It's still going up. Well, wait a minute. Maybe it didn't. It swiped her. His foot swiped her. It swiped her. That's a swipe. It swiped the back of, like, her upper thigh and probably her bottom buttock right there. And it swiped her. And he got on, he, he's barefooted. He ain't even got on no, uh, y'all act like he got on steel-toed boots or something. He got on flip-flops. That's rubber. And then he walking straight after that. I have stumped my toe. So it was nothing like that. The bottom of that flip-flop probably scraped that little part of her. She moved her leg a little bit. His, his foot is still in motion. Yeah, I know it looked like he's kicking a field goal. Right? I'm looking right at it. I'm going to look at it again. He slung her down. She lost her balance. She lost her balance. I'm, I, I mean, I'm, I'm telling you what happened. She, she's bending over. She ain't standing up straight. She bending over. She probably don't even see him. Because that hoodie is covering both sides of her face. She's leaning down. It's a big, like, floppy type hoodie. Hood. That's covering both sides of her. She can't see nothing but in front of her. If somebody in danger, you think they only going to be able to see in front of them? But no. You know, I guess listen to what folks tell you. I'm looking at it. See, I don't need nobody to see for me or hear for me. And because I everything over here work. Vision and, you know, audio. And I ain't even using no audio. But my brain works. No, um, you're not going to brainwash me. So she's, she's bending over. She probably doesn't even know he's there. He's wearing flip-flops on carpet. Now, as she's getting up, as she's getting up, she, she doesn't even see him. All she feels is that, that hoodie being pulled back She's in the process of getting up. She loses her balance. She falls backwards, of course, because he's pulling what? The hoodie. Now, she felt it when he, you know, kind of like grabbed at her neck. Like, I mean, his, his hand kind of hit her neck like a little bit when he was grabbing the hoodie. And so right now, her hand is on top of her hair. You know why her is on top of her hair? Because he got 
hold of the hoodie, that top part of that hoodie. That's what he got a hold of. He pulls her down, back. He pulls the hoodie back. She loses her balance. She takes two steps backwards, loses her balance, stumbles on the floor. He kicks at her, and it's just a little light little tap. His foot just taps, you know, her right there. He reaches down and grabs the bag, and then the other bag. And this time, all he did was kind of like, you know, put his foot down on her thigh. And then he pulls her up by the hoodie, not even all the way up. She's laying there. It's almost like she knows she's being recorded. Because, I mean, she's laying down there like she's dead or something. It's, it's almost as if she knows she's being recorded. Is that what she does? She calls? Okay, I want to go back over this last little part. Okay, she's laying down there. She has her hand where, where, where the flip-flop scraped her or whatever. He's pulling the hoodie. She's, she's on her butt. It's like she's sitting down, except she's being dragged by a hoodie. Folk play like that. People play like that. Kids even play like that. Kids grab one another and, and pull them on the carpet and all that. I mean, that's all I see. But what gets me is when he pulls that hoodie... And she falls back and loses her balance right here. She just lays there like she's been hit by a car. He grabbed her by the neck. She stumbles back. And she just lays there. And then his leg swipes her. She lays there still like she'd been hit by an 18-wheeler. She laying there like she'd been hit by an 18-wheeler. You would have thought a car hit her in the middle of the road and kept going. That's how she laying there. You would think it's a dead body laying right there, the way she laying there. It seems like to me it's a setup. And then we don't know what happened inside that hotel room before that. We don't know. She could have caught him. I mean, he could have caught her on the phone or something. You know, saying things, uh, you know, personal things about his life or whatever, you know, like, Revealing stuff. You know, you, we don't know what went on up in there. People do that. Sit right up under you. Wait for you to, I guess, put a ring on it. Ain't, ain't that how Beyonce say? If you go, if you like it, then you got to put a ring on it. I guess they hang around until they feel like, well, well, you know, it's about time for a ring now. I don't know how they do it. But I just see somebody laying there as if they've been hit by a car. Or by an 18-wheeler. And all they did was stumble back. Lost their balance. They were pulled back. They stumbled back onto the uh, carpeted floor. It ain't like she fell from an 18-story building. But she laying there like that, though. you yelled at me or you know whatever uh i mean i don't know were you, were you going through his personal records or something were you acting like you were a wife but you weren't a wife 
Were you siphoning information to some third party? How dare you? A lot of people sit right up under you and do that. Some, some of them bold enough to do it right in the hotel room while you sitting in there. I don't know what went on in there. All she did was just t took her hand and put right there where that flip-flop touched her. But I just found that to be very, very odd. <clears throat> then he grabs the thing, the hoodie, and, and he's just pulling it, and she's just, you know, moving along with it right there on the floor. And then that's the end of it. And then it just only happens for like three. He, I think he takes three steps. Now, immediately after, now she's sitting up. And she's sitting there like she, uh, well, yeah, I guess she didn't see it. She didn't see him. She probably was startled. So now they go into the uh, statement of hers. And y'all, anybody can write something down. I mean, that's just where I am with it. Believe me, it's men locked up in a penitentiary right now because of some something, whatever it was, that some black woman decided to write down for to <clears throat> help him get there. Now, we're just going to tell the truth about that. Well, and I don't think it's only black women either. Move on past this. I already read all of that. I mean, like when it first came out, I read it. But I can, you know, testify firsthand. Anybody can write down lies on a piece of paper. Ain't they putting lies on thumbnails? Men is doing that. You think a woman ain't done it? I imagine if I look, went out there and looked for it, I can find something like that. Some kind of deception. Some kind of, oh, well, you're going to have to click here. You know, and then look how pretty I look and all that and everything. And then, or look what a victim I am. You know, girls, we run the world. I, I imagine they trying to run billionaires too. Look what they're doing to the average black man. They, you need help trying to sort up somebody like P. Diddy. I mean, I don't know who, 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 I mean, who was she calling? The front desk? Get word to whoever it is. The recording of it. You know? I don't know. So anyway, they're showing her again. Um, like where she's... It appears here that they're showing when she was walking up to the hotel. So here they're showing her walking down the, down the hallway. She act like she was held prisoner. I don't see no prisoner. If you a prisoner, wouldn't you be running down that hallway? She walking. Wouldn't you be running? If you a prisoner? She barefooted. So that's what she's doing. She put on one shoe. She pressed the elevator, elevator button. He comes running down the hallway. I guess it's a crime to run down the hallway, right? He's covered. He ain't naked. So I guess he's committing a crime by running down the hallway. Kids do it, don't they? He comes around the corner. He's, he comes to a complete stop. And then we know what happened. I already told you. There's another little part here. So, I mean, that's what I saw. His foot touched her, uh, touched the back of her thigh. It, it, swiped, it swiped it a little bit. She laid down like she had been hit by a car. I mean, I, I was look, I was just looking right at it in steel frame. So anyway, okay, now he's sitting in this chair. He picks up something. Is that a lamp? And he throws it probably at the wall. Because if, if it had to hit her, wouldn't there be like a cut? Wouldn't there be like a hospital visit or something? So, yeah, he probably threw that lamp at the wall. Don't you think if he wanted to hit her with it, he would have hit her with it? They right there. You see him sitting in the chair. Matter of fact, he's sitting down. He probably trying to talk some sense into her. 
Why would you try to set me up like that? Whatever it is you're doing. Who are you working with? He, he probably didn't even know who she was. She could be some kind of a double agent. You know, they smile in your face and, instead of be trying to sot you up. Black men call them queens. You know, I don't have nothing to say about it. Talk to the one who are locked up in a penitentiary. Hear their story. Find out how they got there. So he threw that at the wall. And that was all I saw. Now they're going to show another little part. So they're showing this again. He grabs the hoodie. All that is hoodie. She loses her balance. Falls back on the floor. And she acts like she's been hit by an 18-wheeler. His foot swipes her leg a little bit. She might have a bruise right there. Maybe. Let me look. Yeah, she she moved her leg a little bit up and then but the thing about it is it came right back. So yeah, it, it kind of it probably you know what you know what I think happened? The rubber on the bottom of that shoe, which those are shower shoes. They're rubber. They stick to them jeans like glue. When you swipe by it, yeah, her leg is in the jeans. Her leg ain't going to have no choice but to move up and then come back. He's pulling clothing. He, I mean, he, he haven't laid a hand on her. He haven't laid one hand on her. Now, here she is. He haven't laid one hand on her. He pulling that. Hoodie. There she is. She got her hands inside her pockets on the hoodie. Seems like the back part of that hoodie is just laying back perfectly the way a normal hoodie would lay back. <clears throat> so I guess she got up off the floor, straightened up her hoodie. Um, she was doing something over there by the elevator. I mean... Who don't get up if they fall down? Kids do that. Babies do that. The one we're trying to walk. So now she sees that phone. She's reaching for the phone. Uh, I mean, to me, she just looked like she just maybe fell, fell down on that floor. That was it. She walking straight. She's standing up straight. Her posture, you know. Her face is, is beat, as they say, and I don't mean beat like been beaten in, meaning I don't see nail flaw nowhere. On her skin, on her, her hair is intact, everything. There is nothing, even the hoodie, which it does look nice on her. Everything's intact. She got her shoes on. She, she put her other shoe on. She put one on before she stumbled back. Got caught by surprise. Her hoodie got pulled back. The rubber met the jean on the swipe. And then the hoodie got pulled. But now she's up. You know, but, I mean, a few minutes ago, she was laying there like she had been hit by an 18-wheeler. She's up. And her hand is on the phone. Her hair is intact. You, wanna, you don't know, but you would have thought she walked down that hall and just went straight to the phone. Or got right off the elevator and went straight to the phone. That's how she looked. Everything is intact. And that's all you see. And he's walking down the hall with the two bags. So I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I'm assuming that's what people do every day at hotels, don't they? They just aren't wearing a towel. Now he's coming back. I'm assuming he carried the bags to the room. And now he's probably coming back to, you know, see if she's still here or, you know, did she leave or, or, or whatever, you know? So he's walking and then there, there, um, okay, <clears throat> here's what happened. 
she was she was on that phone, right? Cause I'm fair about it. Last time um, they showed her, she had the phone in her hand. Her back was okay, and see, and and, and see, and that's what I don't understand. If you're in that much danger, why your back? Why is your back turned where well, you can't see behind you? Anybody in their right mind will be standing so that they're looking at the at the entrance there. But the last, <clears throat> excuse me, the last thing I see of, of her standing there is with her back turned to the, okay, right here, she's facing the mirror right there. I want to be fair. I almost said the wrong thing. Okay, so I was wrong. She's facing the mirror, so she can see. So she had to see him come back around that corner after he carried the bags back to the room. And I see somebody walking. And if you ask me, if he chose to run, if he chose to run, what's the big deal? Didn't he run down the hallway? I mean, uh, duh. So now we see him charging her. We see him charging her. She runs like she's trying to go around that little corner right there where the phone is. He kind of like charges at her. And then, and then it looks like he maybe um, grabbed her around the waist. And that's, all I, and that's all you see there. He's bending over. Looks like he's talking to her. Let me see. Yes, yeah, she was startled. He probably telling me everything all right. Let me see. That's what I see. Yeah. Because he's grabbing like in the middle. So he's probably grabbing her around her waist. Yeah, he was wrong for pulling the hoodie. He didn't lay a hand on her. What I see, it looks like he's probably, I mean, you can't really see it, see it. But I ain't trying to demonize the man, and I damn sure ain't trying to sit here and just blatantly tell lies on folks, what, for clicks and views? Really? I mean, he's not... He's not even charging her anymore. After he takes that last step, it, it looks like he's kind of like bending down, trying to like hold, hold, hold her. I mean, I'm being fair. He's, he's bending over like kind of. And then you see her because she's in the frame. And then she kind of like exits the frame a little bit. You can't see her at all. He's bending over there is what he's doing. Who knows? She probably sitting in the, well, no, that she ain't, she ain't sitting in the other chair. Because those two chairs are side by side there. Let me see. She's probably sitting on the floor. And then he gets up. It's like in the last frame. You see him kind of like, instead of bending over, it's like he stands up abruptly, kind of. Not even all the way. It's like, he's like maybe 80% standing up. But before, he was like maybe 50% bending over. So his body kind of comes up maybe about 30%. It doesn't appear that he's standing up straight. But then they ended after that. He's bending over. You see her in the frame. I'm fair. And then he's not even really charging her. I have to make that correction. He's not really even charging her. There he is walking down the hall, not running, walking back down the hallway, except he's just wearing a towel. And then he kind of like goes at her kind of like, uh, you know, kind of fast a little bit on that first little part. And then maybe it, it looks like maybe she sat down or something. 
Wait a minute. Let me see. It's not over. Okay, that's what happened. It's right there. She probably pushed his face away because she's mad. That's what happened. He's bending over. Well, she probably pushed him, you know, pushed him up, up off of her. Because she's, if I'm guessing, she's probably sitting on the floor there or something. He's coming down the hallway again. The only way to know this, you have to watch it. And he walks at her kind of like a little fast a little bit on that one little part. Who knows? She could be like crouching down. It's like she went. It's like she went. Let me see. I'm going to have to go back. Okay, here she is at the, with the phone in her hand. Looking picture perfect. Like she just got off the elevator. He walking down the hallway like a, like a guest. Maybe they got locked out of their room or something and they're wearing a towel. He comes back down. Probably wondering like, you know, why would you lock me out, out or whatever. And then he just kind of holds her a little bit. There she is. You see her, her, there are her legs and she probably pushed him up off of her. That's what happened. Then she crouched, you know, around where you can't see her in the mirror. He, he sits in the chair. That's what happened. And he mad and he probably threw the lamp at the wall. That's what happened. Wow. I'm looking right at it. <clears throat> here it is, right here. He walking down the hallway with them bags like any other guest except he wearing a towel. That's it. He coming back down, walking. He sees her on the, like by the phone. He kind of like goes toward her. And it looks like he's trying to maybe counsel her. Who knows? She could have slapped him. He sits down. And that little part where he sit down there, I'm about to tell you now. Wait, wait a minute. Let me see. Yeah. Uh, have mercy. Yeah, there he go. He's sitting down. Oh, yeah. Wow. You can see everything. But it's not that I was looking. I wasn't looking up there like that. But, boy. Okay, anyway, there he is. He's, sit he's sitting right there. And then he just grabs the... Is that a lamp? I want to make sure that's a lamp. He grabs a lamp and throws a lamp. If he had to hit her with that lamp, she would have got cut or bruised or something. They had a spat. I mean, wow, really? That's it right there. I see worse on the streets. He's sitting down. That is a lamp. There's a lamp right there on the table. You know what? She's probably sitting in that other chair. That's not a chair right beside that. That looks like, well, no, it, it would have to be a chair. But it's not. It's a table. So she's sitting in the other chair over there. There's probably two chairs back there. There's probably two chairs. The other chair, you can't see it. There's one chair there by one window. He's sitting in it. There's a little small table with a lamp. There's something else there. It looks like that might be some kind of a, who knows, it could be a piano or something. I don't know. Or a long, flat table. Off camera, I think there's another chair back because you can see that there's another window back there. So, yeah, she's probably sitting in the other chair back there. And then he grabs the lamp and probably throws it at the wall. If he wanted to hit her with it, he would have got up and hit her with it. He never laid a hand on her. And that's it. That's the whole video. So, no. The final analysis is, did he never laid a hand on her?